My name is Tim Carlisle. I'm an application engineer at ProLim PLM in Cincinnati, Ohio, and we'll be looking at the family of parts within Solid Edge 2019. Within this demonstration, we'll be understanding the master file, creating the family members, and also the separate model files, which will be used in assemblies and drawings. Understanding the master file concept. The master file controls all members of the family. It could be used for suppressing features and also controlling the variables to control the sizes within the model. Stepping to the solid edge, we'll be using a sheet metal part for our family of parts. I will start this by selecting the control flange profile sketch. And which I can change the variable names by double clicking on each dimension and I'm going to name the lower 250 my width. The second feature will be a 150 and it will be height. Select OK. I will close out my sketch. And finish the part. Next thing I want to do is I want to go to the family of parts and I'm going to pin it. When I pin it, it will always stay in one place for me on the left hand side and I'm going to create new family members now. The first one will be a master. The master will never be modified. The second member I'm going to name member 1-300. I will change the width from 250 to 300 later on. Member number 2 will be a dash 500. And the final member will be member number three. And I will suppress the whole features within this family member. I'm going to go to Tools, select a variable table, and as you can see, we have Width and Height. I'm going to select a Width and go down and add this variable within my Family of Parts variable table. And I will now go to member number 1, dash 300. I will change the 250 to 300. And select apply. And what you'll see the width of the part go from 250 to 300. The next member will be member number, number 2 and it will be the width of 500. So I will double click on the 250, change that to 500. I select apply. The final member, I will leave it 250 and I will suppress the holes within this part just so the holes, holes will not be sh shown with this family member. And I can select the holes either as individual features or else I can do a shift and select them all.
my next step is I'm going to go into the family parts variable table and what you can see every family member and also the master part and I can select every one if I want to all at once but first I want to go in and I want to show it is possible to suppress or unsuppress features within this environment. It doesn't have to be within the model itself. It could be done from this table. And next I'll populate the parts. What I'm going to do when I populate the parts is I'm going to create a individual part for each family member. And, and by doing this, I can later use these parts within assemblies, I can use them within drawings, and which I can alter each one as I want, and it will not affect the master file. Well, next, as you can see, it did make my three individual parts of each member and I'm going to open one up. And which I I can use this model any way I like. I can add features, I can make cuts, I can add sketches, I can add flanges, and it will not reflect back to the master file. Thank you for watching and please check out our, our, our YouTube ProLim channel for more solid demos.